On target number two, representing Kazakhstan. Auf Scheibe Nummer zwei, aus Kasachstan. Ilfat Abdulin. Dennis Gankin. Sanja Musayev. And their opponents are working in. Und hier kommen die Herausforderer. On target number one, representing Australia. Auf Scheibe Nummer eins aus Australien. David Barnes, Brian Tyke, Taylor Worth. The line judge for this match is the Kampfrichterin für dieses match is Celine Gravel. Archers, please get ready. So, Kazakhstan, you shoot first. Yeah. Australia, you shoot so, second. No, are you I'm ready? Okay. Archers, are you ready? Are you ready? Well, here we go. Australia versus Kazakhstan for the men's team bronze medal here in Berlin. Kazakhstan will be shooting first. Elfat Abdulin, Denis Gankin, Sanzar Muziev. Watch their position. Kazakhstan really seemed to come from nowhere uh, last year when they suddenly beat Korea in the final in Shanghai, I think it was. And ever since then, they've been, they've really been a, a team to, uh, to take to into account if you, uh, if you go to a competition like these. Yeah, ranked number two up against Australia, ranked number four. And the lineup for Australia is at Ryan Tyak, Taylor Worth, and the returning David Barnes. Yeah, it's a team full of experience, that's for sure. Ten years out for Barnes, but it doesn't look like he's been away for the day. I think he's only been shooting for under a year now, and uh, well, he's been doing well. Couldn't bear to be away from the sport. Good grouping there for Australia. A little high on the last one, and of course uh, Taylor Worth. Well. Worth mentioning him, sorry for that, uh, but it is worth mentioning because uh, he's getting some experience right now on this finals field because he's back later on for the bronze medal match in the individual Aye. and that result has a bearing on whether he goes to the World Cup final. It does indeed, yeah, I think he has to win or he's not going. Well, Kazakhstan, a mighty force here. Hey. Ah. Second arrow out to the right. <coughs> we talked about conditions here, Chef, and yesterday we said uh, almost up. perfect for uh, high scores. I'd still it's, say so. It's better, isn't it? Yeah. Today, hey. uh, ah. there's no bright sunshine. It's just a little bit cooler. This is the, the kind of weather that people shoot world records in, I think. Ryan with his uh, signature bow swinging. 
sensible. Is that clear? Who shall my name it? Lord. My Lord. I think Australia has been looking for um, a good third teammate for uh, for a while now, because Ryan and Taylor have been shooting well. The I would say the last year or so. Um, they just couldn't so, couldn't find somebody who to fill the third spot to make a good team or who was able to uh, commit to going to the World Cups and now they might have found somebody with uh, David Barnes who is getting back at it. Yeah, and it, I mean, still plenty of years left in David Barnes. Yeah, yeah, that he retired so, uh, so early, so yeah. young, what, I think he's 31. In archery, that's not a, an age that you can not get back to anymore. Yeah, so uh, the Tyak, uh, he's a character on the on the circuit. In fact, uh, he's joined us a couple of times up in the, in the commentary position here, competing on the field of play. Uh, lively character, Haysha. He is, yeah. And here he is. Uh, you mentioned his characteristic habit. Yeah, he uh, he does that. He throws his bow around just to get the arrow in the middle. Um, people have been telling me that I do the same, but uh, I refuse to accept that. <laughs> Well, it's clearly working for him, and uh, you know we talk about uh, the the mental side of the sport, and the process is a big thing, isn't it? The routine that you go through is, yeah. both before, during, and after shooting. Yeah, I think the the bow swing that Ryan does is uh, it's not something you learn; it's more something that just uh, develops while you're uh, you're learning how to shoot. Yeah. David, you are perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Kazakhstan trailing by at two set points to nil. Strong uh, first set from Australia means Kazakhstan will shoot first. So you're getting there. He's adjusting his side a little more so he can uh, hit the middle with his next shot. Bit of a long hold, but he managed to make it work. They're not bad grouping there. 70 meters hitting something uh, the size of an apple uh, consistently. Yeah. It's, uh, it's pretty tricky, but they seem to be nailing it now. It was a good looking shot, but he didn't correct it this time, and it's not in the middle. So maybe he should next shot. Good shot, David. 10. Come on, Tyler. Taylor has been shooting incredible scores in the individual finals. I had to shoot against him, unfortunately, in the, the 1 8th, and he shot 117 shot out of 120 no. points. Uh, and it was windy as well. So he didn't only, he didn't only uh, shoot really well, but it was windy as well, so he managed to win this one. Well, Kazakhstan with a final three arrows on the second set here. Potentially will have that third arrow marked up to a ten from a nine. I think the first archer from Kazakhstan stepped onto the line a little early, so he had to step off the line again and then step on because the judge thought it was too early. Well, that eats away at uh, your time. But uh, they, they do have plenty. They have left plenty yeah. for the uh, final archer here. Yeah. He does like a little uh, long hold, but. Still plenty of time left. Nine. Nine. Shoots a really good nine, yeah, but it's just out of the ten. Well, potential for this one to be marked up to a 57 here for Kazakhstan, uh, but a maximum of 58 possible for Australia. 
So even the coach isn't surprised that he's uh, is throwing the bow around anymore since he just threw his bow and the coach just said, good shot. Hey. That's an even better one. Well done, baby. Come on, Tyler. So a 10 would be good in this situation because Kazakhstan has that 9 that can be upgraded still. So a 10 would make sure that they get points. Hey. Oh, he called it. A 57 for Australia gives them the uh, set points, but only provisionally because we will go to a measure here for the third arrow from Kazakhstan. He'll at least get one point for this set. You're marking that up for a 10. 10. I'm not sure yet. 9, 9, 9. Well, this is the important one. Target 2, X, 10, 10, 9, 9, 9. And that has uh, provisionally been marked up to a 10. We wait for the final confirmation, and that means that Kazakhstan will go up to 57 points and share the two set points with Australia, which means the score will be 3 1. And there we go, the confirmation there. Kazakhstan get themselves off the mark with a tied up second set, but still trail Australia by three set points to one. Well, no time to rest on your laurels here in Berlin. We're straight into the third set of the bronze medal match in the recurve men's team event. Australia with a 3 1 lead over Kazakhstan. So, Abdulin. Gankin and Mizia for Kazakhstan will shoot again first. They were playing ACDC in between ends. Do you think that's a coincidence since they're part Australian? For sure. Let's go and have a chat with the uh, no. sound engineer. You bring everything to the commentary position. Your expert knowledge on uh, archery along with. Uh, I do like my classic rock. Yeah. <laughs> nice shot. I'm waiting to get a, a front view from Dennis Gankin's technique because he, he really has a a one in a kind technique. Um, his, I think his left arm is a bit bent and he's really leaning into the shot. Where normally with recurve you try to stand up straight. Yeah, we were talking yesterday about the difference in the position uh, of the archers in compound compared to recurve. Yeah, so a compound is more of a passive shot, whereas in recurve you have to really engage some muscles to uh, get the shot to go. A good shooting from uh, Australia so far. I think and David's only shot one nine yet. Yeah, it's interesting uh, the difference between the, the two. I mean, if you're new to archery, uh, that's just the simplest way to put it, really, is that the compound bow has a, a mechanical aid to it, so it's easier to draw uh, the bow, whereas the recurve, if you like, is closer to the pure, pure bow and arrow shooting. Yeah. As you can see, the arms of uh, the bow have no mechanics on them. It's literally, the archer who's... Uh, using the power to pull, to draw the arrow. Kazakhstan doing everything in their power to put some pressure on Australia because they have, uh, after three arrows, they had a two-point advantage and they only need to win by one point, eventually. A potential 57 on the cards for Kazakhstan here if they shoot perfect tens. It's a nine. Yeah, it's nine. nine. Called a nine in the stadium here, marked as an eight on the scorecard, but that's subject to the measure. That could be marked up to a nine. Inside ten seconds to go. Nine. Not a bad shot, but it doesn't 
I don't think it's gonna cut it. I think Australia is shooting strong enough to just reel this in. And they've been very calm and methodical, haven't they, the Australians? Yeah. No, uh, the you have to keep in mind that there's a lot of experience in the lane. <laughs> Good shot from uh, Brian Tyak there. He's uh, really settled any potential nerves here. A potential 59 on the cards for Australia. Kazakhstan could be marked up to 55, though. But still... Big margin of error, even bigger now. Speaking of 59s, I think David Barnes just shot his, uh, his last 10 to shoot a 59 with his six arrows. It's really impressive shooting. Especially after a sabbatical that long. Good patience. And a nine is more than enough. And 5 1 victory there for the Australians. They were dominant throughout. You can't say that uh, Kazakhstan went too far wrong, but Australia were just better.